Hey, 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 guys. So recently I made an hour and a half video about authentication in Firebase with email and password. I thought I'd make a very quick, less than 20 minute video as opposed to an hour and a half long video of how to sign in with Google and Twitter. So this will ex can extend to Facebook and the other social media things that Firebase supports. So let's just get right into it and we'll do a quick demo and then we'll get into the code. So we'll do sign in with Google. As you can see, I have my list of Google accounts. I can sign right in and it signs me in just fine. I can make posts as before. Now I'll sign out, I do it with Twitter. Twitter signs me right in and I can delete the post because you know, Twitter users are mean. So that's a very simple demonstration of how this is gonna work. Uh, there's not even that much going on under the hood, even you know, as opposed to outward, it's just two buttons and you click them and they work. It just works, Firebase just works. So we're gonna need to do some setup before we actually get into the code. So we're gonna need to go to the Firebase console you need to click on your application. You're gonna to need to go to the authentication tab. You need to go to the sign in method. And now see I, here I have Google enabled and Twitter enabled. So for Google, you can just enable it and it just works right out of the box. For Twitter, you need to enable it. Now, never show your API key and your API secret to someone. And if you do believe they've been compromised, regenerate them. I'm telling you that now is I am going to regenerate mine as soon as I make this video or as soon as I push this video. So next we're going to need to go to Twitter development uh, apps.twitter.com. Mine's going to go straight to my key. But you're just going to go to apps.twitter.com. You need to go to create new application. You're going to give it a name, a description, and a website. Those are required. And for us, the callback URL is required. So you can see here you'll have a to complete setup, add this callback URL. So you're going to copy it. And you're going to paste it right in here. And you're going to create your Twitter application. Now me, I have already made a Twitter application, so I'm not too worried about creating another one. We'll do Firebase Message Board, which is mine. You're going to go to the keys and access tokens, and you're going to copy your API key, paste it into the API key section, copy your API secret, paste it into the API secret section. As I've already done that, I'm just gonna cancel it. Now after you've done that, we're gonna wanna get the font awesome CDN. We don't have the code quite yet because I'm gonna tell you how to pull it down, but just get it ready. It's just at bootstrap CDN font awesome. And then get ready for the bootstrap social. So this is what I use to create the buttons. Now, word of advice is if you're going to put these into production, do be careful. Google has designer specifications that you're supposed to follow. I don't think that these follow that design specification, so do be careful. Next, we're going to go to my GitHub. My GitHub is github.com slash Taylor Ray Howard. And then we're going to go to slash React Redux message board. Now that we're here, we're going to get the clone or download. You're going to copy the link. I do SSH. You're going to open up your terminal. terminal, And then you're going to do git clone. Ooh, apparently I already have it, so I'll delete it. And now git clone it. We'll CD into it. React Redux message board. We'll do npm install because you should always run npm install whenever you pull down React applications or, you know, really anything that uses NPM. Uh, that's good and complete. So now we'll do git checkout video two. So now we'll open up your IDE of choice. I like WebStorm. First, you're gonna go to the styles and we're gonna download Oops, I seem to have gotten rid of my... But we're going to go back to Bootstrap Social. So I'm going to go back to Bootstrap Social. We're going to click Check Out the Live Demo. You're going to download it. We'll go ahead and open it up. And you're going to drag in the bootstrapsocial.css 
drag it into styles, click OK. So after that, we're going to go to our Fawn Awesome CDN, click the down arrow, get the HTML CDN, go to index.html, paste it right under the other style sheet that's there. Really bothers me that they put style sheet in the wrong spot. That's the way the world should be. Nice and matched. Anyway, so now that we're there, we have got our... So what we just did is we imported the Bootstrap extension CSS for Bootstrap Social, and we have our CDN for Font Awesome. So next up is we're going to need to create a component with the buttons in it. So we're going to call that component social media login. And with every component, we're going to import React from React. And then we're also going to import our style. So that dot dot to go back to directory styles and bootstrap social dot CDN, uh, CSS. And then this is going to be a functional component. So it'll be const social media login is equal to, we'll take in some props. And then we're going to pull things off of our props. We haven't made them yet, but we will have them. Believe in me. You better believe me. And then we're going to render our JSX. So for our class names, we're going to use Flexbox. If you don't know much about Flexbox, I do a little bit on it in my other videos. Uh, look at the Bootstrap documentation or other videos. So what we did is we say this is Flexbox. We're going to justify the buttons in a way that they're spaced out between each other. And then we're going to do a margin top of one so that they're not right on top of each other. Next, we're going to do an anchor tag in href of this so Bootstrap doesn't overwrite our CSS. We'll do class name is equal to button, which is regular, or BTM, which is regular Bootstrap. And then we'll do button social, which comes from our social Bootstrap. And then we'll do button Google, which comes from the same thing. And we'll do an on click of Google login. And then next we're going to do a span with a class name of FA, which stands for font awesome, and then font awesome Google. And then we're going to say sign in with Google. We're going to copy that, and we're going to do the same thing here. But for Twitter, so we're going to say button Twitter, Twitter login, FA Twitter, and then sign in with Twitter. Next, we're actually going to want that to show up on our sign in page. So we're going to make sure to go to our container, our login container, and we're going to put this right below our form footer button. And then we're going to pass in this dot props. So now that we have that, we're going to make sure that we're not getting any errors. We're going to go ahead and close the my Heroku one. And then we're going to do localhost. Ah, we didn't export our social media login. I do that very constantly. No matter how good or bad you are at something, you tend to forget a lot of things. It just comes with the nature of the game. There's no problem in forgetting an import statement. Render is not defined. It's not render. It's return. <laughs> As I'm saying that. So now that we have our buttons, they don't do anything. They're not doing anything because we actually haven't made. Google login and Twitter, Twitter login yet. So that's what we're going to do next. First, we're going to need to go to our Firebase. We're going to need to export const. Now we're do using something called providers. Google does this, sets these up for you so you can make those little pop-ups and it's very, very easy. So I'll do Google provider is equal to new firebase.auth.google auth provider. 
And we're gonna do the same thing with Twitter. There's a Google auth provider, but this one is going to be a Twitter auth provider. So now that we have those, we're gonna to wanna to go to our actions, our user actions, and then we're gonna to wanna to export function, Google login, return dispatch, auth, or actually, yeah, we're gonna do auth dot sign in with pop-up, and we're gonna do Google provider. Let me make sure to import that. And we're gonna do the same thing with Twitter. And also make sure to import that. So what we've done is we've basically, we've set up our function to say, we want to auth with a sign out a pop-up of Google, and we want to do the same thing with Twitter. So now that we've done that, we're gonna to need to go back to login.js, and we're gonna to need to connect these to our store. We need to open up our import statements. We already have login and get user from this, so we're gonna do Google login and Twitter login. We need to go to the bottom, and with our connect, we're gonna do Google login and Twitter login. Now we've bound our action creators. We're gonna go back, make sure everything is good, and we should be all done. Click sign up with Google, sign in with Google, click our account, logs us in. We'll do sign in with Twitter, logs us right in. Look at that. Very simple. Firebase is extremely powerful when it comes to authentication with social media or, you know, Facebook, Google, Twitter. Now that's the end of the video. Very quick, very simple, very easy, very fun. So if you have any problems, any questions, comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments. Uh, soon I'm going to try and add comments to our message board. I'm also trying, going to try and show you how to add pictures so we can kind of round out our message board and that will be the end of it. Uh, if you haven't checked out the, re the other two videos, please do. Uh, hopefully I'll see you for future videos and I'll see you next time.